Hello and welcome to the Virtual Science Fair 2020 prize giving. Firstly, I'd like to thank all of the grade seven to nine students for their engagement and effort in the science fair this year. A very different year with everything being online, but I'm sure if you've seen the website, you'll know that we received a huge range of fantastic presentations. So thank you students. In the first part of our prize giving today, um, we are going to focus on character strengths that we see as being really important to scientists and to science learning and teaching here at AIS, creativity and curiosity. When thinking about creativity, we would often talk about coming up with original and useful ideas which address obstacles and make a positive contribution to the world and the lives of those around us, very much the application of science. And when we think about curiosity, we would often talk about taking an interest in experiences and knowledge, finding out more about things, more about ideas, which is an essential character strength, character strength for learning in science. To, to read the awards for creativity and curiosity, I'd like to hand over to Tulin one of our grade nine academic ambassadors. Thank you, Tilly. I would like to congratulate the following students for the grade seven creativity award. Farida Mashur, Sahar Navid, Noor Al Amri, Yumna Ahmed, Ryan Hanif. And now for the grade seven curiosity award. Ali Al Marzuki. Ban Farah, Fahad Al Huni, Abdullah Yusuf. And now for the Grade 8 Creativity Award, I'd like to congratulate Ali Al Mazmi, Maya Al Shamsi, Rashid Al Ali, Charles Brown, Mahal Zarouni. And now for the Grade 8 Curiosity Award, we have Rahma Al Qasir, Abdullah Al Hashmi, Jeremy Joes, Kenzie Baz, Mansour Suwedi. And now for the Grade 9 Creativity Award, I'd like to congratulate the following students. Salama Shamsi, Salama Shihi, Olivia O'Malley, Elina Afnan, Sara Al Marzuki. And now for the Grade 9 Curiosity Award. Ahmed Al Afesh. Lean Farah, Michaela O'Malley, Faisal Al Jarjawi, Mira Sharif. Thank you. Thanks, Tulin, and congratulations to all the students who won awards for creativity or curiosity. Now, I'd like to introduce two of our grade 11 academic ambassadors, Lua and Dana, who will read the winners, runners up, and distinction awards for the categories for this year's virtual science fair. Um, my name is Dana and this is Lua and we're the academic pillar leaders for grade 11. It is our pleasure to introduce the winners, runners up and distinction awards for grade 7 and the virtual, virtual science fair. So our grade 7 winner for the category science in the media is Noor Shatov. Noor investigated the microorganisms found on different surfaces in her home and found that the most touched surface, in this case a light switch, Harbored the most bacteria. Well done, Noor, and stay safe. There were no runner-up prizes. Do you reckon she looked at toilet seats? That would be interesting. That would be disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting, but gross. Yeah. Um, so our grade seven winner for the category science in the UAE is Ella George. Ella investigated the relationship between air pollutants and increased traffic volumes. Well done, Ella. This is certainly a very important consideration here in the UAE. Our runner-up, there are actually two runners-up. Um, first one is Mayad Belhasa, and Maya, Nora, and Dima. Our grade seven winner for the category STEM, Opportunity and Mobility, is Sahar Navid. Sahar investigated how different air velocities um, of airflow affected the movement of the balloon. Excellent work, Sahar, a well-rationalized and presented investigation. Great work. 
our runners up is actually three students um, Ban Farah, Noor Al Khamiri, and Yusuf Shiko. And a distinction award has been a distinction award has been given to Qusay Usaidi. Our grade seven winner for the category environment and sustainability is Amina Sheikh. Uh, Amina investigated the effectiveness of aquaponics on the growth of two different types of plants, perhaps the future of sustainable farming. Um, our runners up were two students, Abdullah Yusuf and Noura Al Amiri. Maryam Al Ali gained a distinction award in this category. So now we'll look at grade eight and the winners for the science fair in grade eight. So first we have Rahma Al Qasir. Um, Rahma investigated crater formation and the effects of velocity and mass on crater size. Perhaps a future Mars project participant in the making. Um, for the runners up, we have Subhan Khan and Kenzie Albaz. Now, Sarah Kateshat gained a distinction in this category. Well done, Sarah. Now, our grade eight winner for the category science in the UAE is Muhammad Al Hadri. Muhammad investigated the effect of price on the quality and usefulness of detergents. He found that branded detergents are in fact much better than non-branded ones. A future investigative journalist in the making perhaps. <laughs> Excellent project, Muhammad. The runners up are Yusuf Al Hamadi and Rashid Al Ali. Um, the distinction goes to Khalifa Qaidi, um, excellent effort Khalifa. Our grade 8 winner for the category STEM Opportunity and Mobility is Mansour Al Suwaidi. Mansour investigated the effectiveness of different liquids at detecting types of radiation in a cloud chamber and amp and applied the scientific method perfectly to make very insightful conclusions. Whoa, that's so Wow. Cool. Well done, Mansour. Uh, my IA is challenging now. <laughs> I have a competition. Yeah. <laughs> um, the runners up are Mohaned Suleiman and Ali Al Mazmi. Um, the three students gained a distinction. Um, these were Alia Al Ali, Aidan Hanif, Hagar Mechlafi. Yeah. Um, the grade eight winner for the category Environment and Sustainability is Fatma Al Hadri and Ruda Al Ali. Fatma and Ruda investigated the relationship between sugar and plant growth. They found that their particular mix of sugar and water did not support the growth of their chosen plants and their investigation was very well presented. Well done Fatma and Ruda. That's actually cool because a lot of students are doing stuff with plants that are similar for their yeah, ideas. Yeah, so cool. The runners up are Ghalia Al Ali and Jeremy Shihu. The distinctions go to Joshua Maitha and Fatima Al Hadri. Thank you, Loa. Um, some high level investigation there. I'm starting to reconsider a lot of my <laughs> IA research question um, for bio, and I'm sure Loa is for chemistry. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, yeah. I will be and now I'll be announcing the winners for the grade nine for grade nine the oldest participants in the science fair this year. From what I've seen, many of them are ready for grade ten, and a lot of them actually for grade eleven. I would say, mm -hmm. having demonstrated excellent understanding of the scientific method and creativity in their research and questioning. Well done to all. But now the winners, starting again with science in the media. So our grade nine winner for the category science in the media is Ayan Masri. 
I uh, investigated the fat content in different types of chips to evaluate claims made by the producers about their relative healthiness. Very scientific guy, yeah. Well done. Um, our runners up were two students, uh, Mira Al Shihay and Moza Lali. Uh, students gaining a distinction award include, there's two of them, and it's Salama Al Shamsi and Mohammed Saeed. Our grade 9 winner for the category, Science in the UAE, is Molly Richards. Molly investigated the effect of endurance style training on UAE horses when they recover from a consistent form of exercise by measuring their heart rates at different intervals. Was able to discuss the extent to which training affected recovery and made recommendations to trainers. We'll see you at the Dubai Cup next year, Oh morning. my god. Well done. Right? That's wow. So, that's so impressive. <laughs> yeah. Um, our runners up were two students, and it's Olivia O'Malley and Maryam Al Hajri. Students, there are two students that gained a distinction award, including Faisal Al Girgawi. I hope I'm saying that right, and Abdullah Zarani. Our grade nine winner for the category STEM opportunity and mobility is Jawahar Shamsi. Jawahar investigated which ibuprofen pill dissolves fastest in the stomach by simulating a stomach environment and comparing three different brands. Check out her video if you'd like to know the best option. But the science department officially recommends you take me medication only on the advice of your physician. <laughs> well done, Jawahar. So our runners up were two students and it's Ahmad Ali and Abdullah Hamadi. Um, students gaining a distinction award are three students. So first it's Ahmad Sharaf, Ashley Oregon, and Alina Aflam. Our grade nine winner for the category Environment and Sustainability is Manal Suwedi. Manal investigated the relative toxicity of detergents with a focus on the legitimacy of, legitimacy of claims by so-called green detergents that they are better for the environment. Good news, she did indeed confirm that so-called green detergents are significantly less toxic than the chosen plastic varieties. Saving the planet one worm at a time. Well done, Manal. <laughs> uh, runners up were two students, Zayed Osayli and Zayed Al Kishawi. Students gaining a distinction are Sada Marzuki and Yasmin Guardeli. Congratulations again to our junior secondary science students and a reminder that all projects can be viewed can be viewed on the BSF website. Scan the QR code for the link and enjoy. The winner of each section will be contacted by Mr. Dave to arrange collection of their prize. Thank you for joining us to celebrate our virtual science fair success stories. Thank you. Thanks so much to Tolene, Dana and Lua for reading the awards. Um, that is all for the virtual science fair this year. Um, as the girl said, if you click on the or scan the QR code there, you can see all of the entries on the website and um, they'll be up there for the next few weeks for you guys to have a look at. Um, always a, an issue when you thank people but i do want to thank the grade seven eight and nine academic ambassadors for judging the curiosity and creativity awards and i'd also like to thank the science teachers and some members of other departments and the school leadership for judging the science fair awards this year congratulations to all the winners um, have a great summer and we look forward to a, another fantastic science fair next year thank you guys take care